How's it going? I'm Tom Henwood with Mainline Overline. Today we have a really cool build in the shop. I'm going to show you a little bit about it. It's a 2020 Ram 3500 crew cab. We recently did a Norwell tray and canopy on it, so we're going to take a look at all the goodies inside and out. So this is a Norweld seven foot tray and canopy. Um, it has a seven foot tray with boxes. It's a weekender design, so it has 11 gallon uh, water tank in the underside in between the frame rails. It also has a four foot by six inch deep pull out drawer in the rear. Um, we also have forward and rear boxes, and you can see the, the fill for the water tank here. This is a Rand 3500 that came in, not exactly stock. It had some modifications already, but we did remove the bed. Um, we did remove all the uh, lighting and the wire harness. This truck has already seen some actions. It's already been to Alaska, actually. It was running a Carly kit with 37s. We wanted to take it to the next level by removing the bed, putting on the Norwell tray, and it took a little cleaning up to get that done. So we're gonna take a look inside this Norwell canopy. This is the canopy package four. It includes a drawer slide, it includes a fridge slide and pull out drawers. Uh, inside this canopy, which has LED lights inside, um, we have a large pull out drawer. Uh, inside this drawer we have our Bug Out 130, which works in tandem with our Red Arc Management 30 system inside here. We have a battery management system installed with two heated uh, lithium batteries, 100 amp hour batteries. We have a short power capability on this camper as well. We also have a blue seat below deck panel, which gives you DC power, um, gives you USBs and DC function there. Um, the Red Arc Manager 30 is a triple system, so it has both shore power, vehicle, uh, step-up charging power, and it also has solar. Um, so we have 30 amps of solar capability on this. This customer goes to some pretty extreme places with this uh, camper, so we wanted to have the solar in a place that was gonna be nice and secure and uh, keep those contacts nice and clean. Really nice uh, tray up top here, which is on sliding rails. So this can be moved anywhere inside this camper um, into a free space if they wanted to have stackable storage. You also have a very large storage space on the side here with D-rings, uh, hook-in points here for any of the items they want to tie down. Um, it also is a nice ballasted area, a place to put things so they're not going to roll around too far. So moving around to the back side of this Norwell tray, we have a four foot, rear, four foot by six inch deep pull-out drawer in the rear. Big enough to put a set of max tracks in, a set of camper jacks, or some other items like that. Um, close that guy up. We also have a dual spare setup on the back side of this vehicle. So we're using two 37 inch spares. Um, we have these spares mounted in between the ladder. This is a drop down ladder that has a dual, dual stages. So it can be used in this position or it can be dropped down um, for a lower mount as well. Um, on the back side, we have LED lighting, backup lights, and our parking sensors relocated as well. Looking over on the driver's side, we have another lighted section of the Norwell. Um, inside this side of the Norwell, we have a pull-out drawer, which is great for a kitchen box type setup. Uh, we also have a prep table um, mounted out here as well. Both of these will secure. And then uh, we also have additional prep area on here, as well as a drop-down fridge slide. So this is a natural in a 90 liter fridge. We have a lockout on this easy slide. This will pull straight out. And then has a handle activated drop down. So this will, this will uh, mount in several different height positions depending on what you need. And then it allows access to the fridge. And this will pop in and lock out again. Lock up set up there. On the side here you can see we have a, a GoPower 2000 watt pure sign inverter. This has two 20 amp um, GFCI plugs on the, on the outlet. Um, it also has an inverter remote. So we can check our loads. Um, let's say we're putting something with heavy uh, AC load on there. It will let us know up to a percentage of 100 what we're using and in the percentage of the actual unit. We have two fuel fillers in this vehicle. Um, this customer had a previously installed uh, fuel tank on the rear. Um, so we both have a, a main tank and a separate aux tank on the backside here. Um, we also have a def filler 
located in the headboard. And we're using a, um, a Anderson plug to connect to the vehicle. So we're using heavy gauge stuff. Um, the Anderson is a waterproof setup and it also allows you to, to still waterproof that enclosure if you're running the tray only mode. So this, this canopy is a wind off canopy, meaning it's removable. Um, we use four bolts to bolt it down and you can remove those four bolts and take the canopy off. Um, this tray will also use, your, um, use the headboard so you can still put those 37 inch spares on the headboard even if you don't have the canopy installed. Um, on the roof up here, you can see we have a James Brood. This is a customer previously had this set up and we've adapted his previous mounting system to this Norwell canopy. Um, so we have a James Brood Evasion XXL. We also have an alley cab shadow awning on the side. We adapted these, uh, these Norwell doors to fit the height so that he can open the shadow awning even with the Norwell doors deployed. This is a six foot 11 setup right here, even with the canopy doors at their lowest setting. Um, so he can draw that all the way around the backside of the vehicle to provide shade, etc. Thanks for checking out this Australia built Norwell tray and canopy setup on this awesome Ram 3500. If you'd like to learn about more of our builds, check us out on mainlineoverland.com or our YouTube and like and subscribe.